what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're talking about scream 6 in this video a little bit of scream 5 as well and, and stuff we found out in scream 5 and how i think it could push us forward into the narrative of scream 6 so richie's computer screen had a lot of interesting things one of the most interesting things was confirming to us that kirby reed was indeed alive but then at the very bottom of his screen there was a video titled did the real Stu mocker survive so what is so interesting about that well I think Scream 6 should touch on like conspiracy theories and people who take them overboard and have gone off the deep end with it and also just commenting on true crime. Maybe there's been some type of Woodsboro documentary that's been made talking about the real crimes that have happened uh, and it's a very popular thing on streaming services, etc. Let's say that's something that could be also be commentated on true crime as well and the obsession that America has with serial killers mass murderers trying to understand them etc and just go from there that could be something that they could talk about as well but primarily just talking about conspiracy theories i think that would be a very this franchise i think is a very fitting place to comment on that stuff and of course that video on richie's screen is them in pain homage i would say in reference to the original idea for screen three where Stu was supposed to be alive and also the idea that they know is going on right now in our own real world where you have countless people who theorize about Stu being alive he did not die at the end of scream one somehow bringing him back for scream five as many people wanted matthew Lillard was actually poking fun at the idea with us on twitter a few times during the production of scream five and they could just have fun with that so i would like to just start off by saying that in my scream six i'm seeing four killers main killer is going to be tara's dad who comes back wanting revenge on christina his ex-wife who lied to him about his daughter for 13 years who wasn't his daughter sam carpenter and also we could find out that christina's little hookup with billy that was something that tara's dad was originally told by christina when they were in high school to not be worried about he noticed some type of flirtation going on between christina and billy and christina told tara's dad that's nothing for you to be worried about but then of course 13 years later into your who you thought to be your daughter's life sam you find out that not only was that person someone some, someone you should be worried about but that they are the father of your daughter that you thought was yours and that the woman you loved and proposed to lied to you and of course you're going to feel some type of way you're going to feel heartbroken and we don't know what he's been up to for the past who knows how long it's been since that happened uh i can't think of the years off the top of my head but it's been many years of course he's never really recovered from it. he's still bitter and let's say that Billy Loomis was actually a little bit of a bully towards Tara's dad in school as well. So that, that would only eat at him a little bit more. He has a complete disdain for Billy Loomis. And he's in a position right now in his life where after these new killings that happened with Amber and Richie, he's in a mindset where he's, he wants to just eradicate any and all things that are related to Billy Loomis. Uh, so what happens is, let's say he goes onto the Stab subreddit. He finds two people who believe Stu Mocker is alive. And that they also think that Sidney Prescott and Gail Weathers are the two people who know where he is. We know that Stu Mocker is not alive. But again, this is just them poking fun and having a, a little bit of commentary on conspiracy theories and how some people can how troublesome it can be if you go too far down the rabbit hole. And now you're in a place where you are completely off the rails and you're willing to do anything in your power to prove something to be true when there's no way it can be true. So the benefit from Tara's dad in this point would be he want he has no problem targeting Sydney and Gail because again they have some type of ties to Billy Gail being the one who wrote the book that inspired the franchise that we got stab Sydney being the person who was actually dating Billy so any and all things that have to do with taking something away out of this world that has to do with Billy Loomis Tara's dad is all for it so him and these two conspiracy theorists who think Stu is alive and think Sydney and Gail know <laughs> where he is They've tracked down where Sydney and Gail live. The opening of Scream 6 would be Sydney Prescott having that conversation over the phone with a killer, one of the four, who asked where Stu Mocker is. She she confidently, of course, would say he's dead. Chaos ensues around her house. Sydney doesn't die. She takes out that killer. Same thing would happen with Gail, but we don't see her in the opening. We see mostly what's happening with Sydney. Sydney and Gail have a phone conversation, say that the same thing happened where they got a ghost face killer calling them, where they asked where Stu Mocker was, Stu Mocker was, and they told them that Stu Mocker's dead. Then we jump to our primary narrative where we are focusing on Tara at school with Chad and Mindy. Sam is living close by, not at school, of course, because she's much older she's not in school kirby is a is a professor on campus let's say bodies start dropping around campus christina their mom that we didn't see in screen five would ultimately appear in screen six 
And then we get to the final act where Tara's dad reveals himself and his other partner who could who will say that in my in my head, this partner could be a classmate of Tara who is working with her father for financial gain. And the things he's told this partner is that he intends to frame Sam. If he helps him do this, then once it's all done, then he will give this person money. Essentially, they're just in it for the money. Let's just say that's all I can think of at this point off the top of my head. But they, of course, will double cross this person the same way Mrs. Loomis double cross uh, Mickey. And we find out what they actually want. Tara's dad that being this again would be where the true crime commentary comes in they want to be idolized and they want to be idolized and uh I guess drooled over the same way America drools over these other serial killers Tara's dad could be in a position where he feels as though his life does not matter no one talks about him but yet this person who again bullied him a bit in high school is propelled to the heavens and he's mem memorialized in all these movies and you know constantly being brought up in in the news and all these other things keep coming out about billy loomis this and billy loomis that but no one no one talks about tara's dad tara's dad feels inferior feels irrelevant feels unseen unheard so his whole thing is he plans to kill all of them and continue going out there doing all of this chaos doing all of the same bloodshed hopefully moving on to the next step in his plan again eradicating all things that have to be connected to billy loomis this moving on to targeting hank loomis who i would say in my head is not appearing in this movie uh he could even bring up he had tried to track down hank loomis but it seems hank is off the radar he just wants to be like the next manson the next bundy the next Dahmer. he wants to be he wants to have his own legacy his his own uh image that is just remembered for many years to come the same way billy is idolized and just i would say fetishized in a way in his own twisted perspective in this universe for screen and that could be where the true crime commentary comes in or i guess you could switch it up and say he just wants to frame sam but i don't think they need to do that i think they should just keep it fresh in a way and say this is someone who wants to get caught let's say he actually manages to get away with it tara's dad that being he doesn't kill Tara. Let's say he abducts Tara at the end. Uh, Sydney and Gail, of course, wouldn't die either. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Every the video in the description. I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. And let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.